Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Pray that everyone is doing great this morning. Pray that everyone is doing great this morning. I want y'all to come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Then I have to give a shout out to Apostle Tamala for that uh, amazing um, intro, y'all. I tell you, I have to recognize her every time because I tell you, at a drop of a dime, y'all, I needed her to create me an intro. She did not hesitate. She, I, I told her my vision and she got on it. She called me back. It wasn't even an hour. She called me back and this is what it's been. I thank her because this is my, this is it. This is what I play every Monday morning, y'all, for the last three years now. Um, and I just thank God for, you know, just this opportunity to be able to come on and to be able to encourage someone, to be able, able to motivate somebody, y'all. It's another, another, it's a new week. It's a it's a new Monday, a Monday that you have never seen before. And guess what? A Monday that you will never see again. So guess what? You have the opportunity to make this the best Monday ever, the best Monday ever in your life. Y'all, we have that power. We have that power. We got to understand that we are positioned. Hmm. I tell you, when I tell you, and if you've been following me, y'all should know this word power. If you are if you are positioned, huh, that's what the P stands for in power, to be an overcomer and how you become an overcomer by being a willing vessel to be used by God to educate, empower, and encourage someone else through your resilience, y'all, through your resilience. It's not by chance. It's not by chance. It's by us being servants. No, we're not perfect people. Never said that we would be perfect people. But guess what? There's nothing going to be handed to you. There's nothing being passed down on a silver spoon. If anything, people are trying to take from you. Y'all know how people have tried to keep us in bondage for years. Remember the 420 odd years. We will never forget. So many lives have been changed and so much has transpired. Um, we will never forget those things. But do we stay there? No, we cannot stay there. We have to grow, we have to evolve, we have to develop, and we have to be willing to move on. You know, you have to be that change. Y'all hear me saying this word, and I'm not going to let it go. We are the change that we desire to see in this world. You have to be that change. Nobody's giving you nothing. Nobody is, 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 is nothing dropping out of the sky. Ain't no horse finna come down. Ain't no carriages coming. There is nothing coming to save you. If you want to be saved, you got to save yourself. He's giving you a blueprint. He's giving you an outline. He's giving you <laughs> however you receive it. And then I'm not saying we, we, we get so holier than thou and so religious and, 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 and want to throw this around and throw this around. But everybody got to have their own relationship with him. You got to have that relationship for yourself. You can't have a relationship based on what I say. Because we are two different people. He designed each and every one of us fearfully and wonderfully made. Y'all, I'm so, I'm, 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 I'm just, this morning, I, I, I woke up on fire. Like, I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's, I, I'm coming up on graduation, y'all. I'm super pumped because guess what? Y'all, I'm finishing something that I started years ago. I started this journey 30 years ago. Yeah, I am that old. Cause some people think I'm just about, <laughs> some people think I'm just only 30 something. Yes. I started this journey 30 years ago. I did not complete it, but God saw fit that I finished what I started and see sometimes we don't understand when you hear delayed, but not denied in my Latanya Michelle, little John voice. That is the name of her show over on the crew podcast. If you've not checked her out, check her out. She talk about these things. Sometimes we think that things are supposed to go our way, but our way is not always the right way. Our way is not always God's way. And sometimes we have to move out of the way and allow God to be who he said he will be in our life. Because if you remember Jeremiah 29 and 11, he tells us, he said, for I know the plans. I have for you, declares the Lord, huh. 
plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Hope. You got to understand what that word is. And I'm thankful that God saw fit enough to allow me to be able to do these anthologies with these amazing people. Because through these anthologies that we've done with poetry, we've been able to share our perspective of these words and how he broke it down. He broke it down to me. I gave it to each and every one of them, and they gave their perspective on it. Y'all, in the first book, we found forgiveness. We learned how to forgive ourselves. We learn how to forgive others and truly mean it and learn how to move on because forgiveness is not just for you and it's not just for the other person, but it's for future generations to come. Because guess what? If you stuck in your mess and you stuck in, in, in this unforgiveness stuff, you can't move on. You can't do what God has called you to do because you are blocking your own blessings. So a lot of us with all these unforgiving spirits, all these unforgiveness things that we carry around. That's hindering us from walking in the things that he's called us to do. See, a lot of us, we got these gifts, but we keep wondering why things are not going the way they're supposed to go. Because you're not lining up. It's time for you to, sometimes we got to look at ourselves. And in Trevita, she shared something that, that she do and how she do these self-checks with herself. You know, and, I, and you, you think about, you know, how often are we doing these self-checks? How often are we checking ourselves to make sure that we are standing up and aligning to those things that we say we are supposed to be doing? Because a lot of times we'll make these vows to ourselves, just like we'll make all these vows to God. But are we truly, are we keeping these vows? Are we moving in those things? Sometimes we got to stop and we got to check ourselves. We got to look in that mirror and then we got to look at those around us. Because we have the power. Guess what? He positioned you because he knew that you would be the one that would bring about change in your generation. He gave you that spirit of being an overcomer because he knew that you would face things that <laughs> would have killed a lot of people. But yet you stand. He gave you that will in the will that will not quit. Because he knew that no matter what came at you, that you would press on, that you would push past, that you would stand when everybody stood against you, that you would still stand. See, he knew that that wheel in the wheel would keep you moving, that would keep you on track. Even when other people thought that you was off track, you were right on track with what God had planned for your life. Even though it looked dark, he was all in the midst because he kept you. He extended his grace and his mercy every single day. If you look back over your life, if you look back over these last five years, these last 10 years, these last 20 years, if you just take a look and reflect over your life, you know that you have not been on this journey alone. Those footprints that you look and see in that sand, they're not even your own. Those are the times that he's carried you. It has not been you. So know that. Know that. I'm, I'm telling you, God is moving. He's blessing. And everybody that's in this I, 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 and me, 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 me phase, I, I, I just want to urge you, get in the spirit of networking. Get in the spirit of collaborating and truly understanding what that word means. It's not about what you can give me, but what we can give each other to help each other grow. Because guess what? We are helpmates one to another. We're not here to be in competition. We're not here to, to compete. See, the things that we compete in, these are supposed to be things that are fun. That, that, that's, that, that's, that's what competition, that, that, that's all fun and game. But, but when we talk about for real, for real, we're supposed to be helpmates one to another for the kingdom. But see, some of us, we have not been able to separate the difference. We've not been able to separate what is a game, what is virtual reality, and what is reality, and what is in the now. 
because a lot of us, we truly don't know who we are. But I just want to challenge some people. God has been nudging at you. He's been pulling on you. He's been telling you to do this and to do that and to do this and to do that. But you brush it off. You say, nah, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes, it is. That's what you're supposed to be doing. If he told you to write that book, write that book. Even if you got to be a part of an anthology, you may not be able to, you may not be ready to do a whole book by yourself. Join somebody's anthology. Don't just join one person's anthology. Join a few anthologies. You, you now have the opportunity to pick and choose. And it's not about money for everybody. So just make sure that you're joining the right things. Things that will help grow your brand. Things that will help promote you. You have to look at people and take them for who they are and what they give you. Don't read anything between the lines. Because... <laughs> That's, that's what's gotten a lot of us in the predicaments that we that we are in. You got to take things for face value. You can't hope and wish that this is going to happen when they presented this to you. So, y'all, I just want to, I, I just want to encourage y'all this morning to stay on this journey. Don't give up. Know that he has not been slack in his blessing you. He's not been slack in nothing that He's been doing for you. So don't be slack in nothing that you are supposed to be doing for him. Whatever he's called you to do, do it. Stop sitting down on those gifts. Don't think that you're sitting down on somebody else. Don't think that you you, you sit down on your family, you sit down on your spouse, you sit down on your siblings. Don't, don't think that you're sitting down on somebody else because you're not. You sit down on God because he gave you that gift we didn't give it to you we have no hell or heaven to put you in but guess what you got to get there just like i gotta get there and the next person because guess what he has no respectable person he expects so much out of each and every one of us and he give us all every single day that you wake up on this side grace and mercy he extended it to you one more time you got that on this day on this monday september the 11th Y'all, he gave it to you. Take the opportunity to be the best version of yourself that you can be. You can't be nobody else. You can only be you. So stop looking at what the next person is doing, how they operating, how they moving, and look at what he's called you to do and be you. I got a poem for you guys this morning, and then I'm going to move on up out of y'all way. I just wanted to encourage you guys this morning and to let you know to stay on the journey. Know that it's not over. Know that he's not finished. He's not done. The plan is not done. You got to catch up to your destiny. So listen to this poem, and then I'm going to get on out your way, y'all. Rise, O soul, like the morning sun. Embrace the day. Let your purpose run. For change won't come if we simply yearn. It begins within. It's our turn. In a world that's weary, tired, and worn, where hope is scattered, fractured, and torn, it's time to rise, to take a stand, to be the change with open hands. Speak life into the broken hearts. Heal the wounds with compassion art. For God, our God, demands much more to love, to serve like never before. This season calls for action, friend. Don't wait for miracles to descend. Believe in yourself. Believe in the might, for in your hand lies a scattered light. With every step, let love prevail. Ignite a spark like others in hell. The fragrance of hope, the scent of grace, transforming lives, leave a trace. God's not slack, so let it not be. We we are vessels of change change just wait and see embracing the calling let faith abide shift this world with love as our guide so rise dear soul be fierce and bold don't sit in silence don't be controlled be the change you long to unfold and let your actions speak 
loud and bold. For sitting idle won't change. While only will only leave us stuck in feeling estranged. It's time to rise, to take the lead, to manifest the world we dream and need. In this season, let's live with purpose, shining bright, no longer in darkness. With God as our ally, we won't flutter. Together, we bring forth a world to the altar. So rise, my friend. Don't be hesitant. It's time to overcome and elevate. Be the change you desire to see and let your light shine abundantly. Y'all, and that is to y'all. This is a poem from me to you. And it's called Rise, O Soul. Rise, O Soul. Y'all have the opportunity to rise up and be the change that you want to be in this world. Y'all, nothing is going to be given to you. You know that the, that saying that 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 um the race is not given to the swift, but the one that endures, the one that do that endures to the end. So if you won't change, it may not come tomorrow. It may not come next week. It may not even come next month. But know that your work is not in vain. That it's gonna come. But you got to be consistent. You can't give in. You, you can't give up. You got to be consistent. Something worth having is worth working for. And if you are the change that you desire, then you got to get up and you got to do something. If you want that change, you got to be that change. You can't sit and think that it's going to fall out the sky, that someone is going to come save you because they're not. Okay. We got a few more minutes. I'm not going to keep y'all the whole 30 minutes this morning, but um, we're right at the 20 minute mark. And I, I, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for tuning in. And I tell you, if this has blessed you in some way, shape or form this morning, I want you to share this with somebody in your circle. Of course, y'all know that we are on iHeartRadio. We're on U42. We're on speaker.com. We're on Spotify. We're on um, Google um, Podcasts, Pod Addict, um, CastBox. Um, where else are we? Um, YouTube. LinkedIn. Of course, we're right here on Facebook. Um, of course, we have a couple um, YouTube stations. I hope you guys are engaging in some of the follow activities that we are doing on the page, y'all. This is the season to engage. This is the season to, to post content. This is the season to be visible. Y'all can't just sit and think that, you know, people are going to see what you're doing. And people are going to know who you are just because you show up every now and then. It's not going to happen in this season. You got to stay visible. You got to get out here and you got to be seen. You have to do the work. If you want the results, you have to do the, ro the work. You can't expect nobody else to do it for you. Because guess what? You are your brand at the end of the day. So with that being said, I want you guys to make sure that you tune back in next week. And every Monday, y'all. Every Monday at 9 a.m. Make sure that you tune in every Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on Blog Talk Radio. You are tuned in to Monday Morning Motivation, your half hour power with the Queen. Of course, I am the Queen, Angela Thomas Smith. I'm known across most social media platforms as the Queen of Collaborations because. I desire to bring people together. I, I desire to see that village because, y'all, we got to bring that village back when we looked out for each other, when we cared about our neighbors, when we cared about our sisters and brothers, and it was genuine. It was not a show. It was not fake. It was not what I can take from you, what I could. It wasn't taken from Peter to, to give to Paul. It, it was no backstabbing. It was none of that. Y'all, we got to get back to that. We got to get back to true family. And I tell you, if you've not checked out the crew podcast, you better go over there and check them amazing queens out. I'm telling you, they are doing their thing. They're definitely being the voice um, across this world. I tell you, um, join them. 
Um, they are live almost every single night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We stream live through Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. I'm telling you, they have had some amazing guests um, that has been gracing the platform. If you are not following the crew, I want to encourage you guys to follow the crew podcast. Get to know these queens. Check out their brands. They have some amazing brands. They have some amazing perspectives on different things that's across that's happened across this world, y'all. We're not just talking about things that are happening here in 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 South Carolina, here in 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 Georgia, here in in New York, uh, Mississippi, wherever we may be in the states. We're talking about things that's happening around the world because at the end of the day, y'all, it's about it's about things that we can do to grow as humans and to grow the kingdom. So I want to encourage everybody to make sure that you are following the crew podcast. And of course, y'all see in my background, y'all see the free Texas campaign. No, I can't leave off here without saying something about the free Texas campaign. But um, of course, y'all know I am one of the co-founders of the free Texas campaign, where we are trying to bring awareness to some of the things that are happening in the great state of Texas that has failed their people. They want we, we want to help them to keep that name, the great state of Texas, because it is a great place but then the judicial system has definitely done a number on uh brown people and it's time that people recognize what's going on in the state of texas and how they are locking these individuals these prisoners out of the judicial system they're locking them out of a fair opportunity to be represented and to have their cases heard because some of these people are incarcerated and they not even have their cases heard like they uh, it's it just amazed me it, it amazes me how these lawyers become assistant da's then go on become da's and then go on become appeal um judge um like I, I don't understand how and then they lock these individuals out and they control these individuals it's all about money and power with them and, and this gotta stop you know it's time that the state of texas be held accountable they gotta be held accountable and we got to stand up we can't keep letting it go unheard and unseen i don't understand how the people that live in the state of texas are allowing this like how are you allowing this I, I I I don't I don't I don't get it. Yeah, it's time to wake up. It's time to, it's, to stop seeing things happen and doing nothing about it. When you see something, you got to do something about it. You can't just sit idle and just allow it to happen. It's just like you keep turning the cheek, cheek turning the left cheek, keep turning the right cheek. Y'all, we ain't got no more cheeks to turn. We don't turn every cheek. We don't looked over everything far too long, and that's why it's not getting better. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. And it's time that we do something about it. So I, I, I definitely want you guys to make sure that you are supporting these various platforms that I am a part of. Y'all, sometimes it just take a little share. It just take a little light. That's all. I'm not asking you to, to donate no money. I'm not asking you to, to, to truly give up your time. You What time you give, and I promise you, it's going to be well worth it. And you're going to get it back a hundredfold. It, it, it only takes a second. We have a petition going right now where we're trying to bring awareness to the things that are going on. You know, we're trying to get some of these legislators and Congress people to do their job, to look at some of these laws and to 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 redo this parole um, process that they have going on. Because the people that they have sitting on the parole board shouldn't be sitting on the parole board. It definitely need to be, you know, what what are y'all are y'all looking at these people um mental and they social and they they the psychological being, you know, you you we need to look at that because you got to look at how the people started out and where they are now. You know, a lot of people have had to rehabilitate themselves because they don't offer rehabilitation programs. So that's gotta be a strong minded person to be able to do that, to be able to recognize where they went wrong, how they failed. And to be able to correct that without, without no professional help. You know, these are people that need, that if they get the proper schooling, these are people that can help lead the next generation. But y'all, y'all too busy all about money. See, those that are woke and, and see what's going on, we understand the, the money and the power situation behind all of this. It's time out for that. And it's time out to see something and do nothing about it. It's too much of that going on. 
You got to stand up. So, y'all, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep supporting the various platforms that I'm a part of. Y'all, if you are a poet, y'all, we got opportunities to be a part of this final poetry book. We need 17 more um, poets to join us. Allow your voices to speak. We're talking about love. Y'all, we found forgiveness in the first book. We found hope in the second book. And now we're finding love. And that love can be that love that you you find within yourself or loving somebody else. But it's all up to you. Join us. Only $23.23. You get to share three poems. Um, under 100 words each, you get to share a 75-word bio and a picture of your beautiful brand yourself representing you. Um, opportunity to be seen and heard around the world, y'all, because we, uh, most of our books end up in Walmart, Barnes & Noble, um, all these different platforms that, you know, most books are. So you get an opportunity to allow your voice to be heard. So, and then you get to connect with 39 other individuals, y'all. 40 shades of red. You can't beat that red. Yes, resilient, equipped, and delivered. Yeah, that's what he said in this season. That's what he need. People that are resilient, equipped, and delivered. That means you ain't moving in mess no more. Seconds. So that's that. Y'all, my time is winding down over here on Blog Talk Radio. So I got to say my goodbyes to them. I want to thank everyone that has tuned in this morning. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I will see you guys back here. Same time, same place on next Monday and every Monday after that. Share it with somebody. Invite a friend to tune in with you. Y'all get y'all some coffee. Y'all sit back, talk about the show. If y'all got questions, y'all can call in. Y'all can share. It's an opportunity to, to, to be yourself and to motivate somebody else. If you want to be a guest, just reach out to me. Y'all know I love to collaborate. I love to share everybody's brand. So I love you. I love you. I love you guys. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Okay, y'all. That is um, Blog Talk Radio. Um, but I just want to say goodbye to you guys. Um, thank you guys for joining. Um, I did not get to share with them um, about the... 121 days of prayer those that follow me know that um we do 121 days of prayer from february to june um cheryl has been a part patrice has been a part um pam and shenaria are the visionaries with me um we have been doing this this is our third year doing this um but god just laid on my spirit three years ago to do 121 days of prayer based on psalms 121 and Psalms 121, look to the hills from which my help coming, um, my help coming from the Lord, which, and um, so that's what we have been doing uh, for the last three years. So this is going to be our last book for this 121 um, days of prayer based on Psalms um, 121 um, series. Um, but this year he dropped in my spirit to do the 366 days of prayer. Um, everybody do a devotion. That means you get to do a scripture. You either talk about that scripture or you um, do a testimony, however you want to do, um, as well as you can complete a prayer or you can complete a um, affirmation to close out. Um, everybody get to do a um, devotion. And it's only $13.33. So if you guys have not signed up to be a part of the devotion, I think Cheryl is a part of it already. Um, Apostle Tamla is going to be doing the forward for it. Um, I think Miss um, Thelma D is a part of it. Um, but if you have not already signed up, join me and allow your voice to speak. We talking about the power of prayer, so that's what um, we are um, sharing um, in this closing book, um, the power of prayer, because we want people to know that there's power prayer. Get this from perspective. Um, there's a link um, that is shared um, in um, this um, description, so um, y'all click on the link. Um, get some information. Join us. Only $13.33. Y'all, I tell you, um, people are still buying book one and two, um, but book one has just been selling. Um, 
Um, I, the vision that I have for book three is amazing. So I just need individuals to share. And if you want to do more than one devotion, it's 1333 per devotion. Um, and if you, if, if, if finance is an issue, just reach out to me. Everybody knows that money is not, money ain't don't, don't, don't move me. It is the doing what God has called me to do for the kingdom is what moves me. And sometimes if I got to give, I give. It, it, it's, it's not about money. So don't let that keep you from being a part of anything that I do. If um, there's something that you say, hey, I want to be a part of that, but Miss Angela, I don't have it right now. People know that I will budget plan you to, I don't care if it's 13 33 we will budget that. If, that. if you tell me you can give me $5 here and $5 there, then hey, it get paid. It, it meet it, it meet the criteria. It, it does what it does because we do know that this nothing that I do is is really free. Somebody got to pay for it, whether I have to pay for it or somebody else pay for it. It has to get paid for. It. But nevertheless, um, I'm not gonna charge you an arm and a leg to be a part of nothing that I do. And those that have been following me for a while, they know that. Um, and I try to give quality work. Um, I'm not going to say that some things have not turned out the way that I envisioned them to, or we thought that they were going to turn out um, based on um, things that have worked in the past. But um, you can check my work. Um, my work is quality work. Um, here lately, I think I've been putting out some great um, specimens. Um, if you've not checked them out, I definitely want you to check them out um, because God has truly been moving. God has truly been um, just, I mean, he's just been downloading. And as soon as he downloaded, I got to get it out. I got to share it. So when I don't know how these hundred books got spoken or what got spoken, but I'm on the mission and I'm 48. My birthday is, um, it's what? September, October, November, December, January, in about six, seven months, I'll be turning 49. So y'all, that means I got one more year and I'm going to be fickle. So baby girl got to get these books out. So know that um, y'all probably going to get sick of me. So if, if you don't like to be a part of anthologies and you don't like to share your voice and you don't like to be seen and heard, then you on the wrong platform because over here um, we are the change that we desire to see in this world and the only way we can be the change that we desire to see in the world is to be the change so you got to do something to change so I can't let it go I'm not going to let it go so um, yeah I love y'all I pray that your Monday this Monday is the best Monday of the Mondays that you've had do something that you've not done in a while um, love on yourself um, Join us inside of this poetry anthology. Now, $23.23, you get an opportunity to submit three poems. You get to network. We got a little chat group. You get to network with the other poets inside of this group, y'all. 2024, we're going on tour. Everybody that's been a part of book one, two, and three, we're going to get out here. We're going to promote our books. We're going to promote our chapters. We're going to do some different things. Um, some of these, we're going to everybody that's a part of the anthologies. We're going to their different cities, and we're going to have events, and we're going to meet up. We're going to have meet and greets. We're going to have different things where we're not just bringing the the people are part of the series together, but we're going to be bringing other authors, other aspiring authors, other community leaders. We're getting back to that community, y'all. Like those that have been following me and they know that God dropped in my spirit, heal the city and heals. Yeah, we women, we wear heels. So we get beautiful. We go out, we do stuff that we get back out in the city and we're getting back to the community. We get back to that having the little community events where people come out, they have their little yard sales, they have their little bake sales, we have community leaders out there, we have organizations out there, and we're out there like a block party. We're doing it in different parts, we're doing it in different communities. Y'all, this is what 
we need to get back to doing. This is the vision of AALAC Chasing Your Dream book tour. That's what we were doing before the pandemic hit. We were going to so many different places, Atlanta, um, Florida, t- um, Tennessee, North Carolina. We was hitting different places. Check, check us out. You can see what we was doing. That's what we're trying to get back to. But we need ambassadors. We need people that would be willing to help us um, host events in their city, in their state. And we work together. We collaborate. Collaboration is not me taking from you and you getting nothing out of it. We collaborate. That means whoever is in that city and state come together and connect with me and we collaborate and we all take away. We all bring, we all take away. That's what kind of party this is. If anybody that worked with me know that, somebody asks, well, what do they get out being a part of the anthology? What you get out of it? You get to buy the book at the same price I get to buy it at. You get to resell it just like I get to resell it and make money off the resale of the book. Guess what? (laughs) I'm no different than you. People think, no, I'm not different than you. I get to buy the book at cost from Blurb, from whoever um, is in it. I don't have a print company. So I get to buy it at wholesale too. You get to buy it at wholesale. We both get to resell it. We get to promote our chapter. We get to talk about our chapter. We get to it, bring exposure to our chapter. It just like the book is my book. Finding Hope is my book. If I am a co-author, that is my book. So I'm talking about, I don't have to talk about nobody else's chapter. I can talk about my chapter, like my chapter is the only chapter in the book. I have that right because I ain't got to talk about nobody else. I'm a co-author. I'm part of the book too. So you get that opportunity. You get to build different things around it. You can build your talking um, platform around that. You can build your t-shirt platform around it. Whatever you want to do, you get that opportunity. And that's with any anthology that you are a part of. You get to do that. That's your right. So I'm just throwing it out there. Y'all get the opportunity. Connect with me. And if you are a co-author and say you never published a book before, but you're a co-author, you still can have a, a Amazon author page because you're an author. You're an author. And whenever um, the um, person, even if your name is not listed, say you reach out to Amazon and you tell them, hey, I'm a co-author of that. All you got to do is prove you're a co-author of that. You can show them anything that shows that you are a co-author. Say you got advertisement or promo showing that, hey, I'm a co-author today. You show them that. They will add you. You can start your own author page. There you are, Patrice. Because Patrice don't think she's an author, but she's an author because she's been a part of a few anthologies. So she's a co-author. So she's an author. So she can have an author page just like the rest of the authors out here. And that's anybody. Yeah, I'm just dropping some nuggets this morning. Just dropping some extra nuggets this morning for whoever want them. They free. They ain't costing nobody nothing. Anybody that won't, don't want to tell you. And if anybody publish your book for you and you don't have an author page, I can guarantee you they probably got an author page making money off of your book and doing different little things um, um, in, in the sake of your project because it happened to me. Um, I paid someone to publish a book for me. They pretty much stole my book. Um, they had it up on all these different sites, Goodreads and Amazon and all these different sites. So I never got my manuscript because they left. They went out of the country. They got stuck out of the country, and then they didn't come back for a while. And then when they come back, they, you know, I was a part of some of their stuff, and then it's like they just, kept ignoring me when I was asking them about that, but they was always wanting me to be a part. You're not finna use me. You're not finna get people um, to be a part of your stuff because of me. But even if people do go over and be a part of your stuff, you're still not going to use me. So take the book down and I'm cutting ties with you. We don't want instance like that. 
So if you are a if you get someone to publish a book for you, make sure that you know that you're supposed to have an author page. Your book should have an author page. And if they are uploading your book, you should have access to the KDP where they are uploading your book. If you pay somebody to publish a book for you. Because guess what? When you pay them, you pay for their services. They don't get royalties off of you for the rest of your life, for the life of your book. You pay for a service one time. So why are you having to give them something every month? No. If nobody is giving you an advance, like these um, publishing houses that can afford to give you an advance before you even write the book, if some if they're not giving you that and they want to pay you royalties, look, all kind of people coming up with all kind of stuff to say that they are a publishing company. Just do your research. Learn how to publish yourself. And you won't have to do that. And then I'm telling you, a lot of people want to say, don't do this and don't do that. But you can publish your own stuff and do just as good as these people that claim that they are publishers. And all they're doing is stealing your stuff and trying to make money off of you for the rest of your life. So, But anyhow, y'all, I'm going to get on out of here. Y'all have a great Monday. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And again, share this with somebody in your circle. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later.